Backyard Plus can help save you money by avoiding costly service calls for repairs that you can easily do yourself. Today we are going to show you how to replace the motor massage jet on your hot spring spa. Typically the jet needs to be replaced when the up and down massaging action stops. Remove the filters and check the position of the air controls first to make sure neither of these is the problem. If not, then you'll need to replace the jet. Only two tools are needed for this job, a Phillips head screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. Use a flathead screwdriver to pry off each of the screw covers on the motor massage faceplate. Typically there are three, although some older models have two. This can be done with or without water in the spa, although it's easier to see what you're doing with the spa drained. Next, use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screws securing the faceplate. Then pull the faceplate away. Inside you'll see the motor massage. On one side of the jet you'll see the smaller airline, and on the other you'll see the vertebrae of the motor massage jet which the water line passes through. If either of these are damaged, it's a telltale sign that the jet needs to be replaced. To remove the old jet, start with the airline. Just pull the airline off the barb fitting in the back of the motor massage niche. Next, unscrew the jet from the threaded wall fitting in the back of the niche. If the jet is especially old, the vertebrae may be brittle and break. Make sure you get the entire jet removed. Here you can see the old jet laid out and the threads that were screwed into the wall fitting. If you don't see the threads, a part of the jet is still screwed into the wall fitting. Another way to check if the jet has failed is to hold the jet by the nozzle and let it hang vertically. The jet shouldn't curve much, if at all. If it is significantly curved, this is likely why the jet will no longer oscillate. The new jet, part number 73307 for most spas, is available on our website. As you can see, the new jet is perfectly straight when hung by the nozzle. Now it's time to install the new jet. It needs to be screwed into the threaded fitting which is the larger of the two openings. Sometimes there will be two threaded fittings. Make sure to install the jet in the threaded fitting that is next to the bar fitting. The other fitting is not used. Screw the jet into the fitting carefully. Since the jet is flexible, it can be easy to cross-thread it. Just be careful not to force it while screwing it in. Tighten the jet until it feels like it is about to get snug. Then continue to tighten the jet until the airline is lined up with the barbed fitting. There are two dots on the face of the jet that should be aligned vertically when the jet is installed properly. Now install the airline, which is the smaller tube. It simply slides onto the bar fitting in the rear of the motor massage niche. You'll notice a rubber o-ring near the end of the hose. This should be slid on the end of the tube when the tube is installed on the barb fitting to clamp the tube to the barb fitting. Next, reinstall the motor massage faceplate. Use the Phillips head screwdriver and the screws you removed from before to secure the faceplate. Lastly, reinstall the screw covers. Now refill the spa and make sure your new jet is working properly. Thanks for watching and look for our other videos designed to help you maintain and repair your spa yourself. And don't forget to visit us on the web at backyardplus.com where we make it easy for you to find anything you need for your hot springs, Tiger River, Solana, hot spot, or limelight spa.